All right, so in the video that we shot this afternoon, the plate that is on the right-hand side is this plate right here. This plate weighs eight pounds and it is a level four GTS plate. We did use a slightly different ceramic um, adhesive in this one. So I'm really curious to see how it performed. However, uh, we'll review both of the plates and hopefully uh, we'll have time to get through two videos or, or two plates in, in a single video. So you can see that this plate was shot and you're, if, if, if you remember, it was shot here first uh, and then the two bottom shots were taken. Uh, I meant to shoot a little bit lower, but that board was in the way uh, in our holder piece. So I had to aim a little higher. So you've only got two inches of separation in here between most of these shots. You have a pretty tight grouping of 30, uh, 30 caliber M2 AP. And you can see one, two, three, four, and five. This was the last shot. So if we pull this cover off, we can see the fiber material is still intact. It did a very good job. And you can see that this down here is still very solid down in this bottom area. Obviously it's pretty loose and damaged up in here where these other rounds went through. And if we peel this back, we can see the ceramic and you see that nice ivory color. This nice ivory color means that it is 99% pure aluminum ceramic. And you can also see the shot placement. And you can see the, the pulling on the polyethylene fiber. And that's always a really good sign for the adhesive to have that good of a grab. You can also see the jacket material right there. Let's see if I can get it out. Anyway, I'll try to get that out when we have more time. And if we keep pulling this, this cover off, you can see the elasticity in that sealant, in that adhesive. And that is extremely good. This is what we're looking for. This is why the ceramic stays in place when you have a, a multiple head environment there. And you got big chunks uh, peeling off, of course when you have this uh, but it's pulling on the fiber up here which is this is just an excellent result for five rounds of 30 caliber m2 ap now it's amazing how close these shots were placed together and yet you still have no penetrations i mean you had you skipped a tile here, but here, here, and here were adjoining. No, they were almost adjoining. These two were adjoining tiles, and these two had one tile of separation, and these two had one tile of separation. A very, very good result. Very impressed with that. And you can see how the 
adhesive between the towel also does a good job in resisting multiple hits. So this was the one, this was the, this was the plate on the far right in the video. Got a small piece of rubber on the edge and this looks extremely good. And this could actually, <laughs> next time I'm gonna put one or two more in there, but this is five rounds, 30 caliber, M2 AP. All of them were stopped by this amazing plate. Lots of jacket material, and I'm pretty confident we can dig around in that polyethylene and we'll find, we'll find the projectiles too. I'm gonna peel this stuff apart and see. First of all, let me pull, see if I can pull this cover off without damaging the backing too badly. That's the problem with it. But just look at the amazing back face deformation on this. I don't know if you can see it all that well, but the back face deformation, the control of the back face deformation is very, very good in here. And you can see here how we have the polyethylene backer, and then we have a layer of material here and another layer of a different type of material here. So this combination of polyethylene and various materials in the backer has resulted in this incredible back face deformation and we're gonna be offering this for sale on the website. This right here is a broken piece of carbon fiber it's uh there's no pass through there matter of fact there's there's the projectile right there right there I don't know if you can see that or not. Maybe I can zoom in on it. I'm gonna edit. But you can see the projectile embedded in the fiber right there. And the rest of that was just, this stuff's kind of, if you, if you bend it, it uh, if you put pressure on it and bend it, it will actually poke out like a broken board almost. I will say that I honestly don't believe that there is another plate out there anywhere that has this type of back face deformation in a multiple hit level four plate. The only other manufacturer that I know of that makes a plate that routinely tests five rounds of armor piercing 30 cal uh, it does it certainly does not have as good a back face deformation control and you can see that <clears throat> that projectile here embedded in the polyethylene and it just it's there so uh, I'll keep it there for now and we'll take a look at the other plate five shots 30 AP excellent back face deformation Thank you.